So why do optical illusions work? Well, in this video, we'll be looking at another one. Just one this time, though it is quite a famous and actually quite a strange one as well. And I've added some animations so we can better see what's happening. So let's get going. So this illusion is the famous checkerboard illusion, first published by Edward Adelson in 1995. And here we can see a checkerboard pattern made up of alternating light and dark squares, and illumination comes from this direction. Now I'm going to drop a cylinder onto the checkerboard, and this will cast a shadow in this direction as we can clearly see here. I'm going to select two of the squares and call them A and B. And my question to you is, which of these two squares is lighter in shade, A or B? By looking at the model, it's quite clear to see that square A is lighter than square B. However, anyone who knows anything about optical illusions will have worked out that squares A and B are actually the same shade. But how is this possible? It's clear from the image that A is obviously lighter than B. Well, let me prove it to you, and then I'll explain why this happens. To prove it, I'm going to need to turn it into an image, otherwise the cylinder would still cast shadows. So here is the image, and also here I've got a bar that's all one shade of grey. If I place the bar here so that it touches both squares A and B, we can see that the bar is the same shade as both A and B. Still not convinced? Ok, let's bring back the 3D model. And now I'm going to remove all the squares except A and B. And now, with all the other squares removed, we can quite clearly see that A and B are indeed the same shade of grey. But why does this illusion fool our brains? This is actually a really powerful illusion, and there are a number of factors at play here. Don't forget that our eyes just collect light. It's our brains that actually do the seeing, it's our brains that interpret the light that's collected by our eyes. And our visual perception system isn't very good at being a light meter, but that's not its job. Its job is to give us a meaningful representation of the world around us that helps us to survive. Our brain knows that square A is in shadow, and so it performs a correction to lighten the square to make it appear closer to its proper shade. And our brain knows that square A is in shadow in two ways. Firstly, it compares square A to the neighbouring squares, and compared to those, square A is lighter, and so must be lighter in actuality. Secondly, shadows tend to have soft edges, softer than the actual colour differences of the different squares. Our brain then tries to account for the shadows again by lightening square A that's in shadow, and so it's perceived as being lighter. And that's how it works. So that's the checkerboard illusion. If you made it this far, then here's a special extra bonus illusion for you. And until next time, thank you for watching.